Do you voir dire about contingency fees on your personal injury cases? I do, always have. It's the elephant in the room. And I, I can assure you uh, that if you ask 100 people whether they think contingency fees are a good thing or a bad thing, a large majority of them are gonna say it's a bad thing. I think a very high majority are gonna say they're a bad thing. If you have a jury panel and you ask that question, uh, how many of you think contingency fees are a bad thing? And they raise their hand. And, it, and then you ask the question, can anybody, any of you think of a reason why contingency fees might not be a bad thing? And inevitably, if you just wait it out, if you just sit there and, and my, a lot of my colleagues and mentors, as we say, if, if you wait and just let the uncomfortable silence simmer a little bit, somebody's going to save you in that jury panel. And every time somebody raises their hand and says, well, you know, with a contingency fee, if it's a, not a good case, if it's a bad case or you got a bad client or they're lying, you're not going to take the case. So I always thank that person. And I let them know that one of the parts of this process is, is that, you know, you've seen the commercials. I've worn I about the lawyer commercials too, and I'll talk about that in another video. But I'll let them know because they know already, they've seen it on TV, that one of the horrible parts about this process, in addition to asking for money for things that money may not necessarily fix, is that I make my living skimming off the top of people's justice and skimming off the top of their misery and that it seems obnoxious and offensive, but it's all we have. And I talk to them about it up front. I want to see what their feelings are about this, about this process, because they've all seen the ads, just like they've seen the Mayhem commercials and the other insurance commercials that try to make it look like just stuff happens. But they've seen the lawyer commercials and they know that we have an incentive to fight real hard. So instead of ignoring it and letting the jury wonder, uh, are you one of these evil, greedy people that is going to lie, cheat, and steal to get as much money as you can so you can take part of it, just let them know up front that you know, that they know that that's what's going on uh, and that you're not afraid of that issue and that it bothers you. Because if it doesn't bother you that you make a living skimming off the top of the justice and misery of your clients, uh, you need to probably explore a little bit more about what you do. It's an ugly process. It's an ugly thing sometimes that we have to do and we have to watch our clients never get complete justice. That's one of the hardest parts about our job is our clients getting nothing at all when they deserve a lot. Uh, and even when they get a lot, it's never enough. It's never full justice. I can't think of a time I ever got a jury verdict that I thought was completely fair. Uh, my second jury verdict was over one and a half million dollars and, and I got all these pats on the back. I was depressed. It depressed me because it should have been six or eight million dollars and it's, it's all relative. That's one of the hardest things we do, but let's talk about it. Let's let the jury know that we know that they know what's going on and that we're not afraid of it uh, in, in hopes that they won't have to waste any mental energy whatsoever wondering about what your character is and what you are all about when you represent your client. I hope this video has been useful to somebody. Uh, I look forward to talking to you again and thank you very much. The only way to really learn how to put on a jury trial is to simply try a jury trial. That's not always a great idea, especially when it's a high stakes case. And you don't have to do this alone. You can always have an experienced co-counsel by your side. I'm former Judge Ken Adair, and I provide first chair and co-counsel services because now that I'm retired from the bench, getting justice through aggressive and competent jury trial practice is all I want to do. Learn more at trial.win.